Oh yeah, so then like uh, uh, send the police. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our 2021 annual appeal. Oh, yeah. Fundraising in the time of COVID is is very challenging, and there's so much there's so much need out there. And I know that there is there are many um, FPMT centers that are struggling right now, um, and so that's trying to keep tabs of everything that's going on and trying to see all of the different needs that are going on. Um, the FPMT centers that are struggling have depended for so long on the in person gifts that happen at events and at teachings. And while that has been a big part of Kadapa Center's giving as well, uh, we're very fortunate that we have our sustainer model. Um, we actually created the sustainer model uh, almost 10 years ago, the Financial Development Committee. Chukila was on here, Susan Potter, Donna Cease. There was a, an entire group of people that foresaw these kind of needs. And we actually modeled the the sustainer model that we have on NPR's uh, fundraising model. And it has been, I think, very, very critical to the success of Kanapa Center over the years and the way that we're able to, um, to kind of monitor and take care of our, our fundraising and watching our, our offerings and how we can do this in a, in a little bit easier manner for everybody. So that monthly giving has been really critical to the success of Kanapa Center for years now. And when COVID started, we actually made a conscious decision to not ask for money. When all of that started and all of that hit, um, the leadership and the Geshis, we all got together and we, we decided just to offer. We offered the teachings, we offered classes, we offered practices. Um, we didn't, we stopped asking for money because we didn't know what everybody's need was and what was going on with everyone. Um, we did do a small fundraiser for the Stupa renovation, and that was also to offer people the, the merit of connecting with a, a holy object. So it was a very conscious decision on how um, Kadapa Center has always offered the Dharma freely, and it's because of all of us in the way that we have so many generous people and have had so many generous people since the inception of Kadampa Center. Um, if you think about it, we truly are a dependent arising. You know, if, if that group of people hadn't have been sitting in Don Brown's living room 27 years ago and envisioning this place where we could share the Dharma and learn the Dharma and start practicing and learning how to be more loving and compassionate, you know, they, everything that they did has allowed us here today to be able to, you know, listen with Geshela and, and learn from our teachers. And, and it's kind of uh, this paying it forward type of practice. And I think it's our, it's our charge to take this mantle and, and make sure that we're caring for the center and all that it encompasses in order that the center continues for the next uh, 25 years. So it's this very interesting paying it forward model that we, that we have. And as we come to the end of 2020, on behalf of the board, on behalf of um, everybody at Kadampa Center, I want to thank you all for continuing to fulfill your 2020 pledges and continuing to give as you are able. I know that some have, um, you know, run into challenges and stuff, but we, we're, because of all of the generosity of our members and our people, we're able to continue to, um, to have these teachings and to have the center and take care of that. Since we we don't have the in-person donations right now. Uh, the sustainer appeal is more important than ever as we head into 2021. We have greatly reduced our, our center budget. So we do have a reduced annual appeal budget. Our goal this year for 2021 is going to be $150,000. Um, right now we're about 40% of the way and that's without doing a whole lot of requesting and asking. Just out of the generosity of your own hearts, People are continuing to give, they're continuing to pledge. Um, we're looking toward the, the future of how we're going to be able to you know, sustain the center and hopefully even thrive once we're able to get back in the center in the future. Um, we will continue to offer the virtual teachings, practices and classes. We will continue to offer safe opportunities for us to gather in small groups. We'll continue to offer our family programs, our outreach and prison projects. Um, we will continue to care for our stupa and garden Buddha and building and grounds. We'll continue to look for opportunities to be um, more environmentally conscious and more sustainable. 
and it was kind of interesting because when I was writing all of these notes, I was talking about, you know, the reflecting on what the center means to me and what the center, you know, I think it's important. It kind of ties into what Geshla was talking about is that we need to reflect on what the center actually means to us and why it's important to support the center, why it's important to support the Geshus and the programs and help fulfill and grow that vision of Kadapa Center as we kind of have this new opportunity of what do we, you know what do we want to be with as we gather together and as we hopefully begin to think about coming together again in the spring or summer. Um, if you are inspired to pledge to the 2021 annual appeal, you can find uh, our pledge just by going to our website, kadapacenter.org. Um, and every single little bit helps. We all pledge in different ways. Um, I personally pledge a small amount with the annual appeal that kind of fits my budget. And then I look for opportunities to give in other ways. So it's just whatever works for you. It all makes a difference. And it's the paying it forward and just think and reflect on what this means. Um, we will continue to care for our Geshis. We'll continue to care for each other. And let's look for more opportunities to do that. So I very much appreciate, again, on behalf of Kadapa Center, everybody that is so generously given, um, we are doing okay. We're not doing great. We're not going to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff, but we're doing okay. And it's because of the generosity of all of our, our members and all of our people. There's so much happening behind the scenes that people don't see. There's so many people involved. Uh, for a center that's closed, really, it's amazing how many people are working for the center and taking care of the center and taking care of the things that help all of us continue with our practice and continue with these teachings um, and to continue to have the virtual ability to gather, to continue to go to these things. There's a lot of people involved and every, everyone is appreciated. I, I could literally sit here with a list and start naming names and I still feel like I would miss people. So thank you all for everything that you do for the center. Um, it's greatly appreciated. So I hope that you're inspired to continue to give in 2021 and, and really the sustainer appeal is even more critical than ever right now. So thank you very much. Again, kadapa-center.org if you are so inspired. Thank you. Thank you, Geshla. Uh, that's God, Masi. Oh yeah, so <clears throat> begin with the sentence. So I, again, here, I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, I really mean it, from the bottom of my heart, to thank all the volunteers, you know, like uh, begin with the sentence, many, many years of volunteers. And material-wise, they get nothing. So, you know, they work so hard for the center. There are many people, there are many people. I just want to say again from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all your service for the Dharma. And I pray for your life every single day. I pray for your life, long, healthy, happy life. And thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. So all the volunteers. And whenever I have a chance to meet them one-on-one, -on -one, I express my appreciation. I tell them personally, when I met them, I tell them personally, how much oh, we appreciate their service. So, okay, one more. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for all of you. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat>